around because I mean, I'm like dead, but one of the first role models in the state. Take care of Jim Stewart, the guy with the red hat. No, no, he put the body and he put that crane on it, put the cab, that's all original. Interior, everything. Uh, been an honor to uh, have Gene Graham and Doug Ludden here. Uh, they they both received 50-year uh, Golden Achievement Award. Uh, local legends, they're well known, and uh, the uh, American Truck Historical Society uh, sent these awards. And so these gentlemen are good job. Couldn't go to two better people. <laughs> It'd have a lot. Almost, I was right on the verge of buying two Zillins, but I went over there and, and uh, looked a little over there. I figured 10 years down the road, that Zillin wouldn't look very, very good. That's Doug Ireland. Yeah. I won something like that. I think I'd probably come out of retirement and just get a local job. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's that's better than being at all. Grant Clay was working at the dealership when it was McMullen's. And uh, he told me he had his heart set on this pickup, the fanciest pickup they could get back in 1970. And he couldn't come up with the $3,000 at the time working as a mechanic. And grandfather went and bought it. And he off the shoulder of the floor there or whatever. He got anxious to try it. He wanted to fix the voice power. He was going to the voice power. He bought a lot of fuel injection set up. Girl. Yeah, he's coming from very main. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Bobby Belfour. Yes, it is. And his lovely wife, Tracy. No damn bad. No, it's not. Oh, you <laughs> traded that for that. I, okay, I got you. <laughs> Sounds good, Bob. What's that? Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, won, you won a truck. I did. All right, I'm here to win another one. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now, don't get crazy. <laughs> oh, you can light right up and then go up with the drive. Nice ride in you now. Yeah, you can really speed her in through. I didn't recognize you. Yeah. You get white. Yeah. Get white. Yeah. Old age, truck driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. I got just to straight. No, no, I wish we did have it. I don't think it's the last one to help, but it's with that one to help. Right in my yard right now. Is that? Yeah. yeah. I'll get a little. There you go. That looks Can great. You <laughs> can get the whole name and everything in on the door. Perfect. Grew <laughs> <laughs> up. Good truck. Drove truck all my life. A good share of my life. Done mechanic work. Well lived. Steve takes good care of stuff. Probably. Uh, Freightliner remain. And Bangor. Yeah. That one and, and the other one. Randy Chapman from Troy, Maine. Yeah, I'm a white guy. That's that's my fourth lot. I got three others at home, so. I got 65, 9,000, 67, 9,000. I get a 67 cab over and. When you go to shows, you get to volunteer <laughs> most of your time to uh, donate that to your uh, give giveaway today. That's a, oh, for the that's truck. A, that's a, no, I, I did not have a spare duplicate uh, Astro driver's manual, but uh, so I gave you the spare 77. Thank you, Clayton. I appreciate that. Yeah. Andrew, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you guys put this on. I enjoy it. Cab over truck is not staying in Maine. Richard Peterson of Elkton, Maryland. Zero seventy-eight, and 
That is the number that is on the white, the white 4,000. And if they want the Ford, we, I'll talk money. <laughs> <laughs> Canterbury, New Hampshire. It's going to John Elliott in Canterbury, New Hampshire. All right, we're going to do one more number for $500. <laughs> 072. The Judge True still here. He is. Hey, George, I left my checkbook down the house. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. Good job. You couldn't tell us from two better people. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yep.